Hello everybody! Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. If you want to see what I've been up to then keep on watching. Wow. <laughs> I hope everyone's well. Please excuse the state of me. My hair needs a cut. Um, I'm tired. I'm worn out. I am literally exhausted. <laughs> um, what have I been up to? Life-wise, I am literally two weeks away from qualifying, which is amazing. I am still working. So if you don't know, if you're new, I'm a final year mental health nursing student I'm literally about to qualify I'm still currently on placement because of the pandemic we have to sign on to an extended placement but it does mean we're paid and I'm in the community Monday to Friday nine to five so I'm still working I'm still out there three weeks time I start my new job I'm going back to the ward which is really exciting but really scary because I'll be like adulting <laughs> and being responsible and yeah for people's lives which is super scary I can't believe how fast the last four years have gone it's mad and I remember back to that first placement with Lucy Green my mentor who I'm still in contact with um yeah so it's dissertate dissertation time at the moment we could have handed it in in April or May May I think it was or because of obviously all this that's going on, pandemic, university is shut, library is shut, etc., etc. They extended it until July. So I'm trying to do that and I've got one final tiny little assignment to do. It's just a 1500 word, I was gonna say 15,000 then, it's not 15,000. 1500 word reflection. All you nurses out there, you will know all about reflections and how exciting that they are. So yeah, I start an award in a couple of weeks. I do feel absolutely exhausted. I'm not going to lie. I feel mentally and physically drained. Um, I don't know about anybody else. Please let me just have a little whinge before anybody comes at me. I am well aware that there is a pandemic on. I am working the pandemic. I've not had any time off during the pandemic. Um, it's all just like, oh, no. I feel... The way that I describe how I'm feeling at the moment is like walking through treacle. Like everything is a massive effort. Even if you want to just nip to the shops to get, I don't know, a pint of milk or whatever. It is such a bloody effort. Like you've got a queue. Then you've got to battle the one way system. Then you've got a queue again. And then it's all just like, I've had enough now. I am entitled to annual leave because I am being paid and I've completed all my hours that I need to to register. Um, but there's no point taking any annual leave because I can't go anywhere. I just need a, I need a holiday to Disney. <laughs> Should have worn my Mickey ears. Um, that's what I need is a Disney holiday. But I am saving really hard. Now we're being paid which is a miracle. <laughs> I worked 2000 and something hours for free and my last like six weeks were paid. <laughs> but that's why we could have opted out of the contract and come off the contract until we started our job. So mine starts in three weeks time. But I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna get paid for it. I'm just gonna work and get paid for it. You know, save the money. Cause I'm used to being skint. So it's quite easy for me to save it. Um, and not go and blow it um yeah so I've been quite good saving because I'm really desperate to go back to Disney anyway enough of that let me show you what I've done so first item I know I've actually crocheted I have finished my Attic 24 Dahlia Stripe Blanket so I made this for my auntie I'm going to stick it in the post to her it's quite easy. I love the border. The border looks so cute. I think the border finishes it. If you're going to do this, definitely do the Attic 24 border. 
Um, you can buy the yarn pack off of Wool Warehouse. They do um, ship internationally, they ship worldwide and they're actually really quick at shipping. So there is that one. Um, the pattern is free, it's on her Attic24 blog, I'll pop the link below. It's a lap blanket size, I didn't do the single bed size because it would just be too big. So, oh, let me lift it up. I don't know how long it is, I should measure it really. Um, so that is finished, so I need to get that in the post. I was supposed to post it ages ago, but I wanted to film a video and I didn't have the energy to film the video. So therefore, it is still in its box, um, waiting to be posted. Oh my God. Next, because I had lots of yarn left over from this, because I um, did the lap blanket size and not the single bed size, I decided that I would make a ripple blanket out of my leftovers. It's only a little one. Make a cute little blanket just to use them up. I am planning on straightening out my border when I finish, when I do straighten out my border. When I put the border on it, I'm gonna straighten it out because obviously it's rippled at the moment. So Amy, if you're watching this, the lovely Amy on Crazy Beginners Group, she's one of our admin and she's also a very good friend of mine and she doesn't live that far away. Um, I'm gonna ask you for the pattern because she straightens hers up. I can't be dealing with a wavy, wavy edge. So that's that one. Yeah, so if you want the pattern, I will link it below. And I will also link um, Wool Warehouse's website. We do get 10% off. I have a 10% off code. I don't make any anything from it. It is just literally a 10% off code. I'll pop it in the description box, but you don't get it on yarn packs because the yarn packs already discounted. But if there's anything else you see on there that you might want, um, I'll pop that code in the description box so you can use it. Um, my garden. My flowers have gone really wild. I'm planning on giving you a tour if you're interested. My tomatoes from a tomato have gone crazy. I have two courge three courgette plants that have gone wild. My dahlias are coming out. It's all very exciting. Oh, I won't be able to show you my chard because I snipped it yesterday and had it for my dinner. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. Also, if anyone's interested, I am going to do, I know it's been like, oh, an eon since I've done a tutorial and I was thinking of doing a tutorial for the ripple blanket because it is really simple and it is a really good beginners project so today is Monday I don't know when I'm going to put this video out probably towards the end of the week but I am not working this weekend and if I get enough of my dissertation done I'm going to in fact do you know what I'm going to film a video anyway because that dissertation is driving me insane so I will do a video on how to make a ripple blanket. Um, you can just use two colours, you can, yeah, I was gonna say you can use one colour, but one colour is not gonna really show the ripples. It might do, but two colours. Um, or just make it out of a scrap blank, like any scrap yarn. Um, yeah, so I will film that and show you how to make that. But for now, let me show you my garden. So as you can see, my dahlia has a flower on it. Um, it's getting a bit eaten, but I think the birds like it. I can't even remember what this is. I did um, plant them and I can't for the life of me remember what they are. But how pretty is my dahlia? And this was what my stepmom gave me, the wildflower one. So that's gone a bit wild. All the plants are going a bit crazy because it's been raining a lot. It's either feast or famine here at the moment in the UK. My rose bush I've deadheaded because it had a lot of dead flowers on. I need to tie that somewhere. It's a climbing rose. So this needs to go somewhere. So I took the tomatoes. Sorry, it's really windy. I took the tomatoes out of here and I think these are potatoes. I didn't plant them. They must have just been in the compost, so I've left them in. My carrots have gone totally wild. Another dahlia that's going to get flowers. This one is starting to flower. It's all a bit crazy. One tomato plant. This was from a tomato. A tomato from a tomato. The sweet peas. I need to get some canes. 
my courgettes are gone. <laughs> totally crazy. My sweet peas over here, this dahlia has My chard, so I snipped a lot of that last night and had it for my tea. More carrot. This one, I don't know what's happened to him. This is some sort of squash here. That's a tomato, that came from a tomato. <laughs> and this one, and my mum, it hailstoned. Um, we had really bad rain last week and it's totally battered it. My mum got me these as well, and that's more sweet peas. And she got me some strawberries. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that quick garden tour. I know it looks really messy. <laughs> but anyway, that is it. Hopefully, I will see you at the weekend with not only this video, but I will try and film a ruffle blanket video. Big hugs for everyone that needs them. Happy crochet! And I'll see you all soon. Bye.